2nd March Welcome to today's devotion by Rev. Paddy Aqua. Today's topic, Making Godly Decisions, Part 1. Today's scriptures, 1 Samuel 38. Life is made up of strings of decisions. It is said that we make about 2,500 decisions within 24 hours. Your decisions that you made yesterday and in the past years is what has brought you where you are today. Many have made decisions in the past that has not helped them. As a matter of fact, they have regretted, but it is too late. One thing we must know is that there are consequences to every decision we make, either positive or negative. Some of the effects can be worked on, but there are some that may dwell with you forever. There are consequences to our decisions, and we cannot run away from them. That is why we need to be careful about the decisions we make. Irrespective of the effects of our decisions, we must still make decision. Inasmuch as God has given us life, we can enhance and better our decisions so that we can have good ends, better our lives and make it up with God. Whenever we deny making decisions, we deny responsibility. Your intentions does not make a decision. You must follow it up with work, action. Deuteronomy 30.19b says, Choose life that you and your descendants might live. As believers, we must acquaint, soak ourselves with the word of God. God created things and brought them to Adam to name them so that he will be responsible for them. But God instructed them, Adam and Eve, not to eat a particular tree. However, they failed. Be careful how you behave in your Eden, place of purpose. God gave them the free will to touch anything apart from the tree of knowledge of good and evil and the tree of life. You have a free will, all things are lawful, but know that not all things are expedient. God didn't take his heavenly remote to control Adam and Eve when the devil impressed upon them to disobey God. The deal with free will is as if there is no God, divine self-effacement. God withdraws from his omnipotence and says, I won't force love. You can't force love, but know that God is powerful. He is the omnipotent and omnipresent God. He saw it when Eve was eating the apple, but he put himself on the shelf and they passed by him. He wished that they chose him, but they failed. God wants us to choose him out of our own volition, but most of the time we pass by him. Many a times we choose our own ways instead of God's way, forgetting that there is a way that seemeth right to man, but the end thereof is death. Today's Prayer Lord Jesus, give me the wisdom to inquire from you before I make any decision that will impact my life and my generation, born and unborn. Give me the grace to obey your will concerning that decision. In Jesus' name. If you love this audio devotion, kindly subscribe, like, and share this channel. Have a blessed day. Pass Caris and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.